South Carolina lawmakers begin the legislative process of removing a Confederate flag from the statehouse grounds. The state's governor called for its removal yesterday in the wake of last week's massacre at a historic black church in Charleston. Marley Hall has the latest from Columbia, where a rally is planned for today. A crowd gathered outside South Carolina's State House to rally around the Confederate flag. But this gathering was not in support of the banner, but a call for its removal. Yesterday, Governor Nikki Haley declared it was time for the flag to go after last week's massacre at a historic black church in Charleston. Nine people were killed. The accused gunman is seen in photos posing with the flag, which many see as a symbol of racial oppression. We are not going to allow this symbol to divide us any longer. But the wish of the governor and the will of the people won't be enough to bring the flag down anytime soon. It takes a two-thirds vote in both houses of legislature to move the stars and bars from the Capitol grounds. Republican State Representative Doug Brannon says he'll introduce the bill. I've been in the House five years. I should have filed that bill five years ago. Um, but the time is now. But supporters say the flag is not the problem. And what happened in Charleston is a terrible thing, but the flag didn't do it. The flag did not pull the trigger. Governor Haley says she'll keep the legislature in session until the flag comes down. Marley Hall, CBS News, Columbia, South Carolina.